What is going on guys, Kurosabola here, and today we are going to be going over the final breakdown of everything that's coming in set 4. We're, this time we're going into black. Uh, the diamond decks are great. They're solid. They're not great. They're solid. Uh, Red's looking pretty good. UI Goku's interesting. Jiren's going to be a menace. Gohan is definitely going to be able to stand up on his own. Um, and all the other blue decks didn't get a whole lot of support, so they're kind of going to sit around the same spot that they're kind of at. Green uh, had a major glow up with Vegeta. Vegeta looks like he's going to be pretty good. Um, Piccolo got a lot of support. That's going to help him out. Um, every other green deck got a little bit. Yellow is looking to be probably the best color going into set four, which is really crazy to say, but I honestly think that if it's not the best color going into set four, it's going to be one of the best. Um, but now we're going into black. And considering that we only have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and um bardock to kind of work with and baby's doing something completely different it'll be interesting to see what this guy does so let's kind of get into it so we got baby vegeta standard leader on the front side but when he awakens he has a permanent skill where you can also use rest mode battle cards with brainwashed or machine mutant in their special traits and combos this is really good uh baby i think used to do this in masters as well so having this type of effect makes this guy stand out he's unique and depending on what the brainwashed and machine mutant cards end up doing, I mean, you could real, you could honestly, um, honestly, you could actually like do some pretty crazy stuff depending on what these other cards do. So, um, I'm curious to see what this looks like. And by the way, I think this is probably the best like alt art leader art in my opinion. This looks great. I I, I need to get I need to get the alt art leader for this. But first. We got the big boy card for the deck. We got grade eight baby, four cost, 30K power, zero combo. On play, you can play up to one card with a cost of two or less from your hand. So more than likely, that's going to be a good chunk of your brainwashed and machine mutant cards probably, right? When attacking, choose up to one battle card with a cost of three or less and place it in its owner's combo area. So this card is double faceted in the case that you can not only use, like take a troublesome three cost off your opponent's board by comboing it. And in most cases, like they're still gonna have to combo out of hand just to, you know, block the attack. But you can also do this for yours as well. So if you have a card that's in rest mode that you can't use off of your baby leader effect, then you can use this effect to force a rest mode card into your combo area which i think is really cool so um there's some interesting tech with this that i uh that i'm actually uh stoked to kind of delve into further then we have glorio daima four cost 25k power 10k combo with a permanent skill if you or your opponent have an energy marker reduce the cost of this card in your hand by two then on play if your opponent has an energy marker draw a card so i think this is the best like daima rare that we've seen um, the fact that you can play this guy for two with that stat line is fantastic. And then as a secondary condition, uh, if your opponent has an energy marker still, uh, you draw a card to replace this guy in hand. I got no complaints. This is a great card. Then we have a super oob. Three costs, 20k power, 10k combo, where activate main once per turn. If your opponent does not have an energy marker, Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of five or less and KO it. Then your opponent places one energy marker. I think this is a very good skill. Um, being able to remove a high end cost card off of your uh, off of your opponent's board and just giving them a marker if they if if they don't have it. Like I I think that's a fair trade. I think being able to take like a double striker Bardock off board or uh, like a four cost Jiren off board or something like that. Like it's like, there's mul many cards that are five costs or less that are troublesome for black. And this just gives you an extra out to those cards, which I think is pretty cool. So um, very fair trade off, I think. And you could play it cheap, which is the other aspect of it, which is cool. Then we got Super Sigma. Okay, so we're getting a lot of the Rildo cards. Uh, Super Sigma, two, car two costs, 25k power, 10k combo. If you have three or less, if you have less than three cards with Machine Mutant and their special traits in their drop, you have to KO this card. Okay, so 
more than likely then, in your early turns, you're probably comboing Machine Mutants. And then by comboing Machine Mutants, to facilitate the three cards there, you can then, like, you can then play this guy, because if you play this guy, then you're just immediately KOing him, and that's not helpful to anybody. Um, for that stat line, it makes sense. I, like, you need, a, you need some, you need some type of restriction for that kind of stat line. And this isn't, like, the hardest restriction in the world either, so I, I think it's fine. Then we have three cost Super Baby 1, 20k power, zero combo. On play, you can play up to one battle card with a cost of two or less and Brainwashed or Machine Mutant in its special traits from your hand. Um, auto, once per turn. When a card is used in a combo from your battle area while this card is in the battle, draw a card. So he's basically Raccoon in black, which is good. Again, depending on what the Brainwashed Machine Mutant's card at two costs or less do, could be worth it. And then the fact that he basically... If you combo a rest mode card from the battle area, you'd replace this guy in hand. Got no issues. I got no issues. Very strong card. Then we got the Sun GT, Sun Goku GT, four cost, 30k power, 5k combo, where the permanent skill, if your leader is the GT Goku, then uh, and this card has 45,000 power or more, this card gains double strike. Uh, this card does not replace the Bardock Double Striker because you get hard removal from that, but you can run this guy in tandem with the Double Striker Bardock. And all, your only condition is to use your energy marker from your leader ability to boost this guy up to 45. I don't think I don't think that that's, hard, that's that hard to do. So, um, yeah, I mean, this card's solid. Uh, it's another Super Saiyan 4 card that's solid for that deck. All right. Then we got Sun Goku Goten GT, two costs, 15k power, 10k combo. He's brainwashed. Where auto on your turn, when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of four or less and return it to the hand. Uh, I mean, black doesn't have bottom decking, so returning the hand is fine. It disrupts your opponent. Um, and again, it's a combo option, so you swing with this guy maybe early. You maybe swing with this guy after you awaken you and, you know, swing with this guy, maybe put a combo into him to do so. I think that's the one thing about the baby deck that I'm actually liking is that a lot of these rest mode, these cards that want to be used uh, as a combo from the battle area, I think they compound on one another, which I think is actually really cool. Um, but no, this ain't a bad effect for a brainwash card. It works with the art or works with the archetype and what it wants to do. Then we got a Sun Gohan GT, two costs, 15k power, 10k combo, where auto, when this card is used in a battle, in a combo from the battle area, you draw a card. Then, during this turn, the next time that you use an extra with a cost of two or less from your hand, you don't have to pay the cost. That's great. I think that's all, honestly, I think that's really good. Um, now, I wonder how this, I wonder how this would work with a card like 10 times Kamehameha. Like if I if I'm not using energy to pay the cost, would I have the option with the ten times Kamehameha to choose the remove three or less off board without the mark using the marker? Probably not. But I mean, hey, we got some two cost cards that, that were in this reveal, so maybe there's something good here. Then we have another Dr. Mew, one cost, 5k combo, 5k power. On play, look at five cards from the top of your deck and reveal up to one non-Dr. Mew card with a cost of four or less and Machine Mutant and its special traits and add it to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of the owner's deck in a random order. It's a searcher. I, 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 got, I got nothing to say about searchers. Then we have a Drunks, Trunks GT, two costs, 20k power, 5k combo. Auto, when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, Add up to two non-Trunks GT battle cards with a cost of four or less and Brainwashed or Machine Mutant in their special traits from your drop to your hand. Pretty good. It allows you to cycle your drop to get stuff back in the hand to reuse those Brainwashed and Machine Mutants cards. I think this is a great card. Speaking of great cards, we have Trunks GT. Two costs, 20k power, 5k combo. Permanent on your opponent's turn. If you have an energy marker, your non-Trunks GT battle cards can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills. 
and then on play, add up to one card from your life to your hand. So he's a self-awakener that protects your entire board. And what makes this guy better, um, what makes this guy better is that he can't be removed outside of battle. Um... So you have, or your, your other cards can't be removed outside of, outside of battle. Um, so that means your opponent has to f go really hard on this card to try and remove this card in order to get to the rest of your board. Um, so if you have multiples of these on board, it could be a problem for your opponent. Um, really good. This is going to be really, really good in Super Saiyan 4. Uh, it's probably going to be good in every other black deck. Uh, it's going to be, be a must include, I think, no matter what. Um... But, I mean, to facilitate the Secret Rare from set 3, I think this card's going to be fantastic. Then we have a 1-cost Nezi, 15k power, 5k combo, auto when this card is used in a combo from the battle area. Play up to 1 Super Sigma with a cost of 2 from your hand. Okay, so this allows you to... This and probably the other Machine Mutants will allow you to get Super Sigma out onto the board for cheap. Um, and you can facilitate... You're facilitating the drop by comboing these guys off board when you need to um it's fine um i don't know how often you're going to be playing the the whole package here but we'll have to see then we got hyper metal rildo three costs 25k power 5k combo on play if you have super sigma in your drop choose up to one of your opponent's battle opponent's battle cards with a cost of three or less and return it to the hand then when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, you play up to one Meta Rildo with a cost of four from your hand. Okay. We'll have to see what the rest of that package kind of looks like, but I mean, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Then we got the Pan GT, one cost, 10K power, 10K combo on play. Choose up to one of your Sun Goku GTs and it gets 5,000 power for the turn. Then, if you have an energy marker, that card gets 5,000 power for the turn. So it's basically Margarita in black with some restrictions. Um, but your options in terms of Sun Goku GTs are a lot. You have three separate Super Saiyan 4s that you have on board that you can use it on. You have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that you can play. You have the... Is it a one cost or a two cost? You have a Super Saiyan Goku that you can, that for one cost or two cost, you can use it on. You can use this on leader. Uh, you have a lot of options for this particular card. And in black, having an energy marker, really not the hardest condition to like get around. So I think this card's good and also going to be mandatory, at, at least in the, in the Goku GT deck. Then we have Bizu. One cost, 5k power, 10k combo. Where auto, when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, you play up to one Super Sigma with a cost of two from hand. So I'm getting, so I, this is the same exact, same exact effect as the, as the last one. So I'm guessing the way that they want you to do this is you play these guys on turn one to then play the Super Sigma. And that's two cards going into your drop right off the bat. It's supposed to help like soup like extra like ex it's supposed to help you expedite the process i guess because then come turn two you can play another one of these and play another uh super sigma and it could stay on board okay i see what they're kind of doing with it i don't know if i like the tech but i mean it's fine then we have a bullet gt Two cost, 10k power, 10k combo, where on play, it's a self-awakener. And then auto, when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, if your leader has machine mutant and its special traits and you don't have an energy marker, you can place an energy marker into your energy area. Um, I mean, it's fine. So it's a self-awakener. So that's really good for ba baby's going to really need that. Um, doesn't really have the best stat line, but it's a 10k combo. So that's fine. And basically using her in a combo allows you to get an energy marker in a later match or later in the match. It's not bad. It's not a bad card. Then we got Vegeta GT as the super combo. Nothing to write home about there. We got a vanilla baby Vegeta, two cost, 20k power, 10k combo. He's just a vanilla. Then we have the one cost baby possessed boy form. Could have used a better naming convention, but it is what it is. 
One cost, 5k power, 10k combo. When this card is used in a combo from the battle area, if your leader has Machine Mutant in its special traits, play up to one battle card with a cost of two and Brainwashed in its special traits, or up to one Baby Vegeta with a cost of two from your hand, then you can't play battle cards for the turn. So, you can play this on turn one, I think? Yeah, you could technically play this on turn one to then play a two cost brainwashed or baby vegeta or or baby vegeta right on right off of turn 1 um and basically allows you to get the two costs out for cheap you can play this off of the uh you can basically play this off of the grade 8 vegeta or the super baby 1 um and then combo with them immediately to get something out something else cheap out so that's pretty cool um, there's some cool tech with this guy. I like it. Then we have, here's the metal reel though. So he's a four cost, 30k power, 5k combo blocker, where when KO'd, you switch one field in your battle area to rest mode and then play this card from its owner's drop. So he can't die, essentially. He's basically, um, he's basically a better version of the, uh, meta cooler, which I think is cool. That's neat. Um, the fact that he just can't die once per turn. Um, and it's kind of like a pseudo evolve too with the three costs. So like, it's almost like having evolve in the game because you're swinging with that three cost Rildo. And then you're immediately comboing with that Rildo because he's a machine mutant after that. And then you play this guy out of hand and then, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Then we have Ribbit, uh, one cost, 5k power, 5k combo. Auto does the same thing as the other ones. When you're using a combo from the battle area, you play Super Sigma. He's got a main though, where you switch this card to rest mode to draw a card and then discard one card from your hand. See, this is fine. I like this. He's not, he's not a dead card to play right off the bat, which is fine, which is pretty cool. So you basically use this main, draw a card, then discard a card. Preferably, you would probably discard a Machine Mutant, right? Um, and then you would just combo with this guy off board. I like it. Oh, and then there's a two-cost Rildo, too. That's awesome. All right, so then two-cost Rildo, 20k power, 5k combo. He's a self-awakener. And then auto, when this card is used in a combo from the battle area, you play one Hyper Metal Rildo with a cost of three from hand. All right, so we have we have our first pseudo like evolve card in the game. Um, so yeah, you swing with this guy, then you swing with this guy, then you swing with lead, combo this guy off board. Then by doing so, you play the metal rildo, the hyper metal rildo. There, and then swing with him. That's three attacks on turn two. It's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Then we got the new planet Tuffle. One cost. Field. Activate main. Discard one card from your hand and switch this card to rest mode. If your leader has Machine Mutant and its special traits, draw a card. Um, for Meta Rildo, I mean, this is a this this you're not really getting a whole lot of use out of this except to just draw a card. You're cycling your hand. You're cycling your hand for something potentially better. Putting Machine Mutants in your drop to facilitate uh, any restrictions from that. Um, and then if you don't want to do that that turn, the Metal the metal Rildo will allow you just rest this when you if you don't want to draw on your opponent's turn. Yeah, it's an activate main, so it can only be switched to active on your turn. So that's fine. That's cool. It's not, not a terrible field. Then we got Super Gallic Gun. Activate battle. Two cost. Activate battle. Your cards that are in a battle get 25,000 power for the turn. Then if you have a card in your combo area, choose up to one battle card with a cost of three or less and return it to its owner's hand. So, I mean, for two cost, 25k power. Really strong. Then if you have a card in your combo area, choose up to one battle card with a cost of three or less and return it to the owner's hand. Um... So this works really well in baby because you're using a lot of your rest mode cards on board anyway. But this card could also be pretty good. This card could also be pretty good in Bardock too. All 
it gets rid of some pressure on your opponent's board while also supplying pressure onto a leader swing. And you're comboing anyway? Yeah, I, I like this card. This card's good. And we have a means to play this for free in Baby, which is cool. Then we have Revenge Death Ball, two cost. If you have activate main, if you have three or more battle cards with Brainwashed or Machine Mutant in their, in their special traits in your drop, your leader with Machine Mutant in its special traits gets 5,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So a pseudo 25k defender. That's good. I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. If you can proc this ability off for free using the, is it the Gohan GT Brainwashed? Um, if you could proc this off for free, like, this is a great card to play for free. I like this. I like this card. I, I like what this deck's doing. And then we got 10 times Kamehameha. This card, this art is amazing. This reminds me of, like, uh, this reminds me of, like, uh, early Masters sets in terms of the art design. So, and that's going to do it for Black, guys. Glorio is the judge card. I think this is the judge card. Uh, but that's going to do it for Black. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. What is it that you guys are excited most about Black? Are you excited for the Super Saiyan 4 support? Are you excited for Baby? Um, are you are you as upset as I am that Bardock isn't getting more support this set? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys all in the next Fusion World video. Peace.